Welcome back to Infigan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging question from algebraic equations, I would say. Rational form is there, radical terms are there. So let's get started without wasting time. Denominator cannot be zero. So domain I will begin with. Left hand side you can see 4x plus 8 cannot be zero. Conclusion, x cannot be negative two. Now come to the other denominator x square plus 4x plus 16 cannot be 0. Let me see the discriminant first b delta is equal to b square minus 4ac term. So it is b square is 4 a square minus 4 times 1 times c is 16. So 16 minus 64 which is negative complex solutions. So no worry because of we are calculating real solutions. So overall conclusion is domain is x cannot be minus 2. Now I will begin with cross multiplication. Okay. So I will consider x minus 4 times x square plus 4x plus 16 and right hand side I will write 64 times cube root of 4x plus 8. Now you can see left hand side is one identity written over there that is a minus b let me write here a minus b a square plus a b plus b square. So it is basically the formula that is a q minus b q. So I will write our equation as x q minus 4 q. So that is 64. Let me write here 4 cube one time equal to 64 cube root of 4x plus 8. Now I will write x cube minus 64. And this 64 I will write in terms of factors 32 times 2 and times cube root of 4x plus 8. Now 2 I will consider as 32 times cube root 8. Cube root 8 is 2 and then cube root of 4x plus 8. You can say this is our algebraic manipulation so that our substitution will come into the picture. Now you can see 32 times cube root 8, cube root 4x plus 8. Now I will merge both the cube roots. So I will write x cube minus 64 equal to 32 times and then 32x plus 64. x cube minus 64 is equal to 32 times cube root of 32x plus 64. Merging both the cube roots. How it is? Cube root A times cube root B it is equal to cube root AB. Now I will give substitution as usual. The standard one, this radicant inside the cube root, I will consider it is Y cube. So I am writing Y cube is equal to 32X plus 64. So our equation, this equation will become X cube minus 64 is equal to 32 times y cube root of y cube is y. Okay, done. From this substitution equation, I can write y cube minus 64 is 32x. Let me write here. I will write y cube minus 64 is equal to 32x. Take away second one from the first one. So I will subtract so change of sign now you can see 64 will be over x cube minus y cube it will become 32 times y minus x take all the term to one side x cube minus y cube let me write here plus sign 32 times x minus y i consider minus common and because of we are converting into one side taking the term into one side. So it will become minus of x minus y. So that will become plus. 
Now take the identity right over there x minus y and then take x minus y common x square plus y square plus xy. In second bracket you will write 32 times x minus y equal to 0. Take x minus y common. So x minus y and in second bracket I will write x square plus y square plus xy plus 32 equal to 0. Now we have to solve f dot g equal to 0. So either f equal to 0 or g equal to 0. Solve these two equations. I will write x minus y equal to 0 or second equation is x square plus y square plus xy plus 32 equal to 0. Let us solve the very first equation. This one x minus y equal to 0. So I can write from here x equal to y. Once x equal to y then equation our equation was x cube minus 64 equal to 32 y and in place of y we will write x done x cube take all the term to one side minus 32 x minus 64 equal to 0. Now you can apply rational root theorem or factorization method is always on. Let me consider x is equal to using rational root theorem x is equal to minus 4. See what will happen minus 4 whole cube minus 32 times minus 4 minus 64. So minus 64 plus 128 minus 64. Yes, this is our solution and I would say x is equal to minus 4 is our base solution. So I will write now the coefficient for this cubic equation synthetic division method. SDM synthetic division method. Coefficient of x cube 1, coefficient of x square 0, coefficient of x minus 32, coefficient of constant number that is minus 64. Leading coefficient as it is 1. Now we will take this base solution product minus 4 times 1 minus 4. So minus 4. Minus 4 times minus 4 16 minus 16. Minus 4 times minus 16, 64, 0. Here we have coefficient for quadratic equation. So I will write x square minus 4x minus 16 equal to 0. So once solution is confirmed that is x is equal to minus 4. Now we are looking for if there is any other real solution. So for that we will solve this quadratic equation. Let us solve x is equal to minus b, so 4 plus minus under the root b square 16 minus 4ac 64 divided by 2a 2. 4 plus minus this is square root 80, 16 times 5 is 80. So let me write 4 root 5 divided by 2. So I can write 2 plus minus 2 root 5. And there is no constraint with these two values. No rejection from the domain calculation. So we have got three real solution for this equation. Now come to this equation. What we will do for this? Let us solve this one. I will write here x square plus y square plus xy plus 32 equal to 0. Let us consider 32 to other side x square plus y square plus xy equal to minus 32. Multiply this equation with 4. 4x square plus 4y square plus 4xy equal to minus 32 times 4. So minus 128. Now I will split this 4y square in such a way. See it is 4x square plus 4xy the last term. And then I will write plus y square. And then I will write plus 3y square equal to minus 128. Now from first three term you can see it is one perfect square. 2x plus y whole square. 
let us check 2x whole square 4x square y whole square y square last term 2ab term so 4xy yes plus 3y square equal to negative number see this is always positive square this is all also perfect square always positive how we will get negative so it will generate complex solutions so we will reject this solution from the equation so reject it so let me write our final answer x is equal to minus 4 and 2 plus minus if i will write 2 root 5 then this is our final answer in terms of decimal values if you want to write then it will come out minus 4 6.47 approximate it is and last value is minus 2.26 approximate value so we have got three real solutions this time for the given algebraic challenging equations if you want to verify let us verify x is equal to minus 4 okay let me verify here x is equal to minus 4 so i will write minus 4 minus 4 over cube root of minus 4 times 4 minus 16 minus 16 plus 8 minus 8 this is our lhs so this value will be minus 8 over 2 with negative sign so left hand side is 4 what about rhs let us check 64 over minus 4 whole square 16 minus 4 times 4 minus 16 plus 16 i can cancel one pair of 16 with plus and minus sign now 64 over 16 it will be 4 both sides are same so this value is verified if you want to check this irrational value also 2 plus minus is 2 square root 5 you can verify it is true i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not friends forget to subscribe our channel bye bye till next video good luck and take care